Nay, I'm Otina, and I'm gonna show you how to make chocolate chip cookies right from your very own home. Okay, ready to get started? Our first step is to always be clean and sanitized. So, let's wash our hands. Make sure you wash them really well. I think we're ready to go. Also, if you like to wear a nice apron, like me, feel free. My mom actually made me this. Okay, and here is our list of ingredients with utensils. So we need four ounces of butter, 150 grams of sugar, and 15 milligrams of brown sugar. And I have already incorporated both of them together. We'll need five milliliters of vanilla, we will need one egg. I've already cracked open this egg, but this is what it looks like. 140 grams of flour, and I've already put that into my bowl. One or 2.5 grams of baking soda. So I have that ready here. 1.5 grams of salt and 3.1 ounces of chocolate chips, which I have right here. And then you'll also need your um, measuring utensils that I've already, that I have out here. So let's get started. Our first step is to take one of our mixing bowls and put in one stick of butter, which is 110 grams, and then our sugar. So 150 grams of sugar and 15 milliliters of brown sugar. I've already put both of those in this bowl and mix and mix them together. And the butter is already in my bowl. So I'll just pour those together. And mix together. We also need five milliliters of vanilla added to the brown sugar, the sugar and the butter. Then you're going to add in your egg. You'll want your butter to be a little bit soft. You don't want it to be hard. So I melted mine a little bit in the microwave and your parents can help you with that. Okay, then we're going to add in our egg. Make sure you mix that egg all around and Crack the yolk. Okay, we can set that bowl aside and get another bowl. In this bowl, we're going to put all of the dry ingredients. So I already have the flour in here, 140 grams, and I'm going to add 2.5 grams of baking soda. and 1.5 grams of salt. All right, now we're going to take a fork and mix that all together. You don't need to mix too long, just kind of Get the big chunks out and make sure it's all mixed together. Now for the fun part. We're going to take the dry ingredients and mix it into the wet ingredients. And at this stage, you can use a kitchen mixer if you have one. But if you don't, then you don't have to use one. I don't have one, so I'm just going to use a spoon. So slowly but surely, just a little bit at a time, pour it in and mix it all together.
It gets tougher as you go. Okay, and last little bit. It should look similar to this once you're all mixed together. If it doesn't look just like mine, that's okay. Okay, this is my favorite part, the chocolate chips. Take your cho chocolate chips, measure them out to 3.1 ounces and dump them in. I've already measured what's in the bag. And if you are like me, you might throw a couple extra in the, in, the belt, in the bowl. Okay, and mix those all together. Now, it's all mixed together and we can take a little silver spoon, take a little bit out and make into a ball with your fingers. This is kind of sticky. You wanna place it right on your cookie sheet. Okay, this is what my cookie sheet looks like. And so all of the cookie balls are on the sheet and now we're going to press slightly down on the each ball with the palm of our hand just to make them a little bit flatter. All right, now it's time to preheat the oven. So we'll wanna preheat the oven at 375 degrees you might want to ask a parent for help during this step. And now we wait. Okay, now it's time to put these in the oven. Yum. And start timer for 10 to 12 minutes. While the cookies are baking, this is a great time to clean up the mess that you made. Those look awesome. I might have made them a little bit big because they went together, but that's okay. Okay, once they come out of the oven, you'll want to take a spatula and move them one by one to a drying rack. Okay, now we wait for them to cool. They should be ready in a little bit. Okay, and this is the best part. Now we get to enjoy. They're all done.